Well, hello there, amazing people. I just got an idea for another adventure or what you will call it, go down. So if you have any ideas about things, crazy things we should try out with Linux, you know, like deleting crazy shit, uh, installing crazy shit, <laughs> I keep saying shit, you know, doing crazy things with Linux, let me know. I was eating and, and I got this idea. What it, can, can, can you actually do sudo apt remove apt? Because we, we hear this, that Linux it, it don't protect itself against the user. You have full control over your system, blah, 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 all these things. And I'm like, but if you remove the package manager, you, you basically render your system unusable unless you go on and, and install it from a source, board, uh, source file. So let's see if we can uninstall apt or apt-get via Ubuntu. So what I might want to do first is that First, I want to install Subnetic, and I want to see what packages that is evolved with the pack uh, apt system. So if you go in here into the command line, and, and it's just to kind of, you know, so we, it, it's a better uh, virtual representation of what packages there is. That, that's the only way why I, I, I like using it on videos is that it gives you like a virtualization of your of your package manager and packages way better than you know looking at a command line or a software center like gnome software let's just do apt and search for that so we have let's do status here here we have apt here apt config apt config again apt util apt daemon what if we do apt get Oh, it's under the app. I could uninstall it here uh, for remove. We can also do complete removal. That's basically the purge command under uh, the command line. But I kind of want to just use the command line because you guys love the command line and I'm getting yelled at for not using the command line enough because apparently I have heard by rumors from the Lin Linux uh, Kool-Aid that uh, using the command line with you will make you more fertile, it will give you a bigger penis, it will give you bigger boobs if you're a girl, it will actually makes you way more attractive. So I'm going to use the command line here. So we're going to do sudo apt. I don't want to use the, I don't use, I, I'm not going to use the purge command. So the purge command will take everything away. It's going to do remove and then apt and see if, the, oh, and see if the system actually allow me to do this. Removing essential system critical packages is not permitted. This might break the system. So what it's going to... Okay, there's actually updates. Uh, what is going... I just installed this yesterday, by the way. I'm getting really good at installing Ubuntu. So it's going to uninstall Ubuntu Desktop, Ubuntu Desktop Minimal, Ubuntu Minimal, Ubuntu Release Upgrader TTK, Ubuntu Update Manager, Update Notifier, Update Notifier Common. There must be a way to force remove a package. Let's see what Symnatic is saying if you're doing it in here. Like this is not something you normally would do, so... We are doing things that are not conventional, let me put it that way. So they're probably not... I, I suspect nobody has really tried to do this. So what if I do this and I click removal here? So remove packet apps may render your system unusable. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Now it's going to remove these things here. So let's let's remove this also. Let's see if this if this is about to do it. The apt demon, the apt demon packages, apt. This is also apt. So let's see if this is going to do it. So here it says essential is going to be, be removed. So they, there probably is a, a CLI command to do it. Let's try this here first. Essential packages will be removed. Yeah, I got it. So this is working. We got it via the command line. I'm apparently too stupid to figure it out in, in uh, also, so we got it via the semantic package manager. But apparently I'm too stupid to figure it out via the uh, command line. What if we do apt auto remove and see if there's any, oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, let's use a program that just de uninstalled. I, I, I'm, hey, hey, hey. I'm a fucking genius, man. But let, let's see if we can actually boot into the system again. Oh, I don't know why the fuck I clicked on that one. We, we are running Ubuntu without apt. Yeah, apt command not found. So we don't have a package manager now. That's really, really interesting. What if we go into the file manager here and we go into other locations, computer, etc. 
we still have the apt folder in here. So we still have the source list, the trusted, the apt config files, the snap config, update, date notifier. So now the next question is, will Firefox open in a in a timely manner this time? It will. Do we still have DPKG though? Ah, we do. So we still have DPKG. We can still install individual packages, but we can't do a conflict resolution or um, um, dependency resolutions because we don't have app to do it in the back. Oh, I guess we can't because I I'm thinking like, what if we just find app dot dead dep uh, download? We have Ubuntu. There we have it. Uh, these both are the same, and it requires all of these here. Replaces app util. Uh, download. Here you go. Copy this one here. Where are we? There we are. Copy. Uh, I should be able to just be able to just pass it in here. Pass and go. Yeah, there you go. So if we go into our download folder, there you go. Where is the? Oh crap! Yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. Let's try and do it. And then this should allow us to install apt, but I don't know about all the, you know, it, it, it has some dependency issues. Oh, I, oh, I downloaded the ARM version. Oh, my stupidity has no fucking boundaries. Yeah, ARM. Oh, crap. Fail to download. Maybe risky. Allow. What's wrong with you? We just have to do... AMD instead of ARM. Oh, we installed. This is like so. This is not that big of a problem then. So let's try and reboot and see if we can then use apt again. So yeah, we are in here. So if we do sudo apt um, update. Oh, wrong password. Yeah, it's working. That was quite easy though. So if you remove apt, if you're stupid like me and you remove apt, you can just basically use dpkg. Yeah, you can use this one here. So you still have some form of a package manager in form of dpkg. That's actually really nice. That kind of makes me at ease a little bit that, that you have this um, backup, so to speak, that if, if if you go and goof up, like you were drunk out of your fucking ass, you were angry, you can't buy, barely see, and you're just really nearly going into Symmetric or found the right command to use the CLI to uh, uninstall uh, apt in, and you do that by uh, a mistake, or if a program by mistake uninstall apt, you can basically just go into uh, pkgs.org, this is like a package repository, we can look a little bit at this here, um, Packages for Linux and Ubuntu, and you can go in here and you can search basically all repositories. There is all packages there are in, in any Linux distributions repository. It's actually a neat little uh, site to be honest. Uh, you, can, you can see what distributions they have here, and then you can download the file. You can also go into Debian and download it from in there. But yeah, this is a, a um, great little website. So yeah, if you are stupid enough, like I said, to uninstall apps, you can still install it by just downloading the dev file and use the dpkg, dpkg tool in the command line like I talked about. So you're not that fucked. So this will also work a lot of times if, if let's say, something get uninstalled and you can't get into a graphical environment or app is acting up or your package is, uh, database is locked. I think you could also use DPKG. It's actually quite, like if you look at it here, DPKG is actually quite powerful. It, it's way more powerful than I thought it was. I need to make a video about DP, D, I can't say that word, DPKG, because it's actually a neat little tool. Anyway, a little bit of fun one. Again, if you have any ideas of crazy things we should try under Linux, let me know in the comment sections below. 
make it something that's doable, you know, like don't uh, throw a rock into your hard drive and see if you can recover your Linux partition. That, that's, you know, or take a, 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 a drill to, to your hard drive and see if you can recover Linux from that. No, it, like, think about this way. It should be things that are kind of possible, meaning that it's things that a user could do either by, you know, stupidity or if they are not reading, you know, what's going to, to happen if they do something with Linux and they're just like blindly clicking yes or deleting stuff. You know, things that are, that, that are, that are um, in the realm of possibilities that could happen, but still, you know, crazy enough that it's not just like, oh, let's remove Firefox. Get what I'm saying here? It could be fiddle around with System D or something like that. What happens if we delete System D and don't put any in? Is, can we replace System D under Ubuntu? Be another video. Anyway. Go nuts in the comment section. See you all later. Bye bye.